Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Leonardo. Today we're going to go over shades of meaning and understanding nuances in words. So first, let's say the word nuances. Say it one more time, nuances. One more time, nuances. Now I'm not going to go over this entire slide right here. You can read that on your own and most likely we will read it together in class, but I really want you to make sure that you understand the word nuance, okay? So let's think of two words. Two words might be synonyms. They have similar meanings. However, of those two words, one word might be a little bit more forceful or stronger than the other word. So for example, let's think of the word sad. Okay, so sad, a little disappointed, not feeling too great. Okay, things are not going your way, but things are going to improve. Miserable, now if you're miserable, yes, miserable is a synonym for sad, however, there's a difference in these words. There's a slight degree of which word is a little bit more powerful and forceful of the two. So if you're feeling miserable, you're not just disappointed. You have gut-riching pain. You feel awful. Life is not going to go on. You can't make it. So there's a difference between sad and miserable. And your job this year is to make sure that you are able to understand the degree to which these words are different. You're supposed to be able to understand the nuances between words. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to fill out your Google slide. So your slide, you're gonna get the exact same document that I have here. I'm gonna be sharing this with you. And as we stumble across words in text, we are going to use this as a place to house all the words that we come across. So let's just go ahead and use the word sad, okay? So the word to learn, and most likely, the word that we stumble across in the text that wouldn't be sad. Um, let's say, I, I wouldn't stop you and say, oh guys, what does sad mean? I might say, okay, now we know the word sad. That's a boring word, let's kick it up a notch. Let's go to our shades of meaning slides and let's, let's fill it out. Um, but let's say we actually came across the word miserable in the text. I would probably say, okay, now we know that this is a, a forceful word. Let's see if we can try and rank that, rank this word amongst its, uh, amongst its synonyms. So the word to learn, let's go ahead and let's actually say miserable. Okay. So I would type the word here, the dictionary definition. So you have two options. You can use the paper dictionary, or you can definitely just go to dictionary.com. You can use Google. There are a plethora of options for you to use. So then I type in the word miserable, okay? And then I'm going to search for the actual definition and that's what I'm going to type, okay? So wretchedly unhappy, uneasy, or uncomfortable. So I go here, wretchedly unhappy, and what did it say? Um, uneasy or uncomfortable uneasy oops did that wrong uneasy or uncomfortable okay so if that happens to you this kind of messes up all i suggest you do is take the box and drag it over so it's all in one line now in your own words what does miserable mean so i could type in my own words miserable means um very unhappy okay and you see again how this is a little bit covered up here so that looks a little bit off so again just spread this out all right until we can get that all on one line now the first thing i want you to do is first pick your shade so let's say i'm going you know what i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to choose this shade here so remember whatever color you use if you use red this for the shades of meaning the one that's the forceful color, the, the harsher word, or the deeper word, that's going to be your darker color. So let's say I decide to use this, I think, it, what does it say, light berry or light red berry. Remember, this is going to be the first color, and then I would go down this column. I wouldn't go across. So if I'm going to use yellow, I'd go here, and I'd go down the column, not across the row. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to choose this orange. I'm going to fill that in. If you missed it, Remember, paint bucket, fill color. So I already used this one. Here's my next color. Paint bucket, third color. Paint bucket, go back up. The last one. So look at that. We've got our shade here. So this is already a text box. <clears throat> so we already know the word 
that we're going to use is miserable. So if we look at our dictionary, we have unhappy, uneasy, uncomfortable. We could use these words. We could also go to the thesaurus portion of dictionary.com. We could type in miserable. Okay. And we can see what the thesaurus says. So we've got gloomy, pathetic, sad, tragic, wretched. Oh my goodness. Afflicted, agonized. There are so many words here. There's so many nuances in these words. There's so many shades of meaning in all of these words. So I only have room for four. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I can't use all of these. So you can choose the first four. You can go down the list and choose whatever you want. You just need four words. And we know that we have miserable is going to be one of those words. So how about we take sad? So we know that between sad and miserable, sad is most likely going to be over here. Okay, here's sad. But then if I'm looking pathetic, oof, man, pathetic, miserable. Now I have to figure out, oof, how, how are those red, they, how do these rank here? All right, so I'm going, oh, and then it also has unhappy. So maybe I use unhappy. Okay, so maybe unhappy. I'll make this bold. Unhappy will fit here. And make sure this is centered. Is that centered text there? Oh, something silly there. I don't know what's happening. Okay, and then, all right, let's think. Um, maybe gloomy. And then we're going to end it off with miserable. All right, so now we have ranked our words. Now, those are the synonyms. Down here, oops, down here, this is where we put the antonyms. I go back up again, paint bucket. Um, let's see, I'm going to go with purple now. Lightest shade, paint bucket, second color down that column. Next paint bucket, this one. And finally, boom, there we go. All right, so then I think of an antonym, the opposite of sad. So maybe I think, oh, okay, maybe happy. All right, and let's see, I wonder why my sentence is here. My, I'm not centered. Oh, well, I'll play with that later. So I've got happy. I can go back to the thesaurus. I can type in the word happy. There's cheerful, contented, delighted, ecstatic. So maybe my next one, okay, if you're happy, I can do cheerful. And if you're wondering how I got this to go from this, unbolded, to this, remember, control B, or if you're on the MacBook, command B, or you can click this here. You have to make sure it's selected. Okay, so then I have cheerful. What else was here? We have ecstatic, glad, elated. So maybe elated goes here, ecstatic. And we're gonna make sure these are all the same size. So this is size 30, size 30. All right. So for me, you know, it's a little bit easier for me to rank these words because I know these words. For you, you might not know what the words mean and you might have some trouble thinking, like, well, how do I know which one is which? So again, go to the dictionary, read what the dictionary says, okay, and see if you can come up with it. Okay, hmm. Well, I know that if I'm happy, you know, I'm content, but if I'm overjoyed, I'm just extremely happy. Okay, I'm flying high. I'm gratified, gleeful. So there's a variety of words here. You just have to be able to figure out the, the slight nuances between those words. Okay, and then when you're done, you can insert a picture. I'm not going to show you how to do that here, but essentially in the end, you'll have something that looks like this. So I had the word tedious, I had the def definition in my own words, the dictionary definition. Here's how I rank them, and I have a picture. Okay. All right, so that's it for now. Again, if you forget how to fill in your slides, come back and rewatch the video. Have a great day.